Hi, I'm Chris from Studio Binder, and we've just released a major new update to our contact management and Cool Sheet Builder features. So let's take a look at it right now. There are four major things that are very different in this release. The first is that we've improved the user interface. Right off the bat, you see a much more space-efficient Studio Binder. The fonts are smaller, so you can fit more details on the screen. The navigation bar has also been redesigned, so you can collapse it and free up space as you like. We've also merged the contacts and favorites list pages into one page, so it's a lot easier to go back and forth between them. Lastly, we've created a brand new project overview page that shows you all the details you need at a glance. You can even add your own custom details to it. So for example, if you go up to here and click edit, and let's say I want to add due date, and I'll type in September the 1st, and click done. We wanted to make the interface much more streamlined so you can get more done in less clicks. The other thing is that we wanted to make it a lot faster to manage contacts. Pop-ups are much snappier. And you can assign unlimited roles to people. So if you want someone to be a director, and also, say, a producer, and maybe also talent, you can do that now. As you can see, there's a new Save and Add Another button. So in very quick succession, you can add a bunch of contacts back to back. If you look to the side here, you can see a new sidebar that allows you to filter by crew, talent, extras, or clients. As I mentioned earlier, we've also merged list functionality into contacts. So now you can click on these plus icons and organize them into your own custom lists. In this release, we really wanted to make it super easy and fast to add new contacts and keep them all organized in a way that's still flexible and fits your needs. Speaking of keeping things organized, the third major improvement is all about departments. In the past, Studio Binder used to provide a single grid of all of your talent, crew, extras, and clients all mixed together. In the new Studio Binder, we break our crew into departments for you, automatically. Best of all, if you go to a call sheet page, they'll also be grouped in exactly the same way. So if I go to an existing call sheet, and you can see I've added a bunch of contacts here, and if I scroll down to crew, they've all been bucketed correctly for me. Now, again, I didn't have to do anything. This was all laid automatically. This makes it much more intuitive, not just to create a call sheet, but to be able to navigate and read the call sheet. But let's say you want to modify the positions, ordering, or department names. Like take, for example, this one here that says agency. Say I want to replace agency with the name of my company. If you go to your manage page, you'll see a new department section where you can rename and reorder departments and positions in any way that you like. I'm gonna go ahead and rename agency to the name of my production company. We'll call this Gravity Productions. And let it save. And then when I go back to the same call sheet, I'll scroll down to the crew section here. Instead of seeing agency, you can now see that it's Gravity Productions. If you don't like department names, positions, or ordering, you can customize your default settings, and from there on out, it's personalized for you. The last few updates I'd like to share with you are all about making it even faster to create a call sheet. You can now assign new recipients to a call sheet without needing to exit the call sheet builder. So let's go to step two, and click select a new recipient. So click here. And let's say you want to add a new contact, someone that you have not previously added to your database yet. You just click this link here, and you can add new contacts one after another. After you're done, they'll appear right in the Select Recipients pop-up. So you just select them, and they'll be added to this call sheet. Done. The other major thing that speeds up your call sheet workflow is the new Locations Manager. So now, you can save locations prior to creating a call sheet, and then import them. All you have to do is go to your new Locations Manager page right here, and you can add all of your locations even before making a call sheet. Here are some locations I already created. And if I expand any of these, you can see every location has all the key information that I'd want to include in the call sheet, right? So if I go back to and edit a call sheet, which puts me back in step three here, and I scroll down to locations and click on the Import Locations dropdown, 
I can see all of the locations from the manager. So all I need to do is click on one of them and look at that. All the information, the shooting location, the parking details, the nearest hospital, they were all added for me. This is really handy if you find yourself shooting in the same location and don't want to input the same information day after day. Just create a location once and add it to a call sheet with a click. Lastly, we've updated the call sheet recipients page to have even more value. So when you go there, you have a new status column that's much more specific about what the status of a call sheet recipient is. Whether the call sheet was sent, unsent, or if the recipient opened or confirmed receipt of their call sheet. We've also made it really easy for you to be able to send and resend a call sheet and remove recipients. Let's say you send a call sheet to someone and want to remove them. You just click the little trash can icon here and you're done. The other really nice thing is that you can now adjust the call time and the email of a recipient right from the recipient's page. This is really useful. So let's say you send out the call sheet and look at a status and notice someone has not viewed their call sheet yet. You glance at their email and notice a typo. Just click on the email right there, make your adjustments, click the resend button, and you're done. So these call sheet updates save a ton of time when creating call sheets day after day. With this update, what you're seeing is just a hint of big changes to come. But until then, thank you for watching and let us know what you think of the new changes on our Facebook page.